when you know there's somebody in the water and it's confirmed, your normal existence stops and then the training just takes over. I just finished work, so I walked over to see, see what the guys were up to. The shout out the window came because we were socially distancing, so we, we were waiting outside to find out what's going on. The shout came out the window that they needed some people immediately for the crew. Um, and yeah, I was, I was two minutes later, I was out of my work stuff into my dry suit and off we went. Yeah, I think we were two, two, three minutes getting ready, um, boat out the door very quickly and we were on scene in uh, 12, 13 minutes. We know we're going in for a search, so before the helm tells us in our heads, we're already get, you know, we've already got the torches out, we've already got our radar fired up. We're all, we're all, you know, we're ready. As soon as they come up alongside, the most vulnerable person comes in first. So in this, in this instance, it was the daughter. Whilst the two crew members recovered her, I held on to the father, took the life ring off him, just reassured him for what was probably no more than 10, 10, 15 seconds before we were able to get him in. We're going to put our arms under yours and then we'll lift you in, okay? That's it. Cool. Okay, perfect. That's it, buddy. Try and keep your legs straight. I think about it quite a lot because I think about the impact you have on people's families. You don't realise that, like, if a family member from your house suddenly just disappeared, they would leave such a big hole. You know, in that family, we're about to lose two people. And, you know, how would, uh, if a normal person just vanished in your house, it would be a terrible thing. And they nearly lost like 50% of their family. It's pretty awful. And, uh, and it's nice that we were there. It's, I'm glad that, you know, I'm glad that we were there and that we, it makes the whole thing worthwhile, you know, because you see fundraisers stood outside of this shopping center with their buckets wearing their yellow smocks, you know, and those guys work really hard. If we can say to them, you know, you raised all that money for us, so that's meant we were able to keep that boat there, which in that boathouse, and we were able to keep it ready. And because of that, we saved two lives today. We saved a father and a daughter nearly maintained um, maintained a family staying together and that was because people raised money for us yeah I did feel proud I, I felt like it was um, it was important to recognize that we'd you know we'd saved two lives there and you know we did everything that we could have done in this space of time and and then I you know we were proud of ourselves um, that's the whole point of us being there is to just be available when people need us and we spend a lot of time training and working hard to make sure that when that, you know, if we're needed, we can get there. And it just goes to show that the training, it does work. It's not a case of just, we just get on a boat and drive around, you know, we, we work hard and that, you know, it pays off. Um, so I was proud and it's good. It makes you feel like it's all worthwhile. So.